help from above. I'm reading the gospel according to St. Mark chapter 10. Mark chapter 10. I will start from verse 46. And they came to Jericho. As he went out of Jericho with his disciples and a great number of people, blind Bartimaeus, the son of Timaeus, sat by the highway side begging. And when he heard that it was Jesus of Nazareth, he began to cry out and say, Jesus, thou son of David, have mercy on me. I want someone to say, Jesus. Jesus. Say it louder. Jesus. My helper. Send help unto me. Say it louder. Say, Jesus. Jesus. I want you to cry out the way about me as Christ. Say, Jesus. Jesus. My helper. Send help unto me. Verse 48. And many charged him that he should hold his peace, but he cried him out a great day. Thou son of David, have mercy on me. And Jesus stood still and commanded him to be called. And they called the blind man, saying unto him, Be of good comfort, rise, he called thee. And he, casting away his garment, rose and came to Jesus. And Jesus answered and said unto him, What will thou that I should do unto thee? The blind man said unto him, Lord, that I may receive my sight. And Jesus said unto him, Go thy way, thy faith has made thee whole. And immediately he received his sight and followed Jesus in the way. In the previous sermons, I had explained to us that the Almighty God is a great helper. According to Psalm 46, verse 1, I went ahead to let you know that this God is the helper of the fatherless. And as if that is not enough, I established the fact that he has promised that he will surely help us. And our God is faithful. When he makes a promise, he will surely fulfill it. That is why I am rest assured that in this month of February, you will overflow in help. I can't hear your amen. In the second part, I explained to Ross seven major ways by which God can send help unto you. Today, as I conclude, I just want to draw your attention to some facts. Whenever you have a divine encounter, whenever you have an encounter with the Almighty God, help will surely come unto you. In this story we have read, I discovered that the first thing that happened to blind Bartimaeus is that help arrived for him. When he woke up in the morning, he didn't know that help was already on the way. He thought that it would be business as usual, as a beggar. When he wakes up in the morning, he will beckon to his friend, carry me to my usual junction so that I will be begging people to help me. Not knowing that that day, Jesus had made up his mind to pass through Jericho. While Bartimaeus was still thinking about how, how he would beg that day, help was already on the way for him. And by the time he arrived at his center, Jesus was there to meet him. The Lord asked me to tell you because you are here today and you have attended this four day program. Help, we arrive at your door. 
I can't hear your email. It wasn't Bartimaeus that traveled to where Jesus was. It was Jesus that came to Jericho. I prophesy to someone, help we arrive in your house. Help we arrive in your shop. Help we arrive in your school. I'm sure you know the story of this man at the pool of Bethesda. John chapter 5, 2 to 9. He was there for 38 years thinking that, well, one day, one day, maybe someone will carry him into the water. After the angel has troubled the water, not knowing that help had come to meet him. And suddenly, Jesus was there and asking him, do you want to be made whole? And to cut the story short, help arrived for that man. I am here today to announce to you by the reason of today's anointing, wherever you go, on the surface of the earth, or wherever you are, help will surely meet you there. I said help will meet you there. So lift up your right hand and say, wherever I am situated, say it louder, wherever I am situated, Help we meet me there. Number two, when you have an encounter with the Almighty God, help we from we come from the direction you are not expecting. As a blind man, the kind of help that Bartimaeus was expecting that day was that some people would pass him by, will give him some money. Is that not so? If someone is by the highway side begging, the kind of prayer will be that God today, as people will be passing by, let them give me money. But that day, Bartimaeus received help from the direction he wasn't expecting. He thought that people would come and give him money. But the Lord Jesus Christ came and healed him. He had two brand new eyes. Help came from another direction. The Lord asked me to tell you, after today's anointing service, from the direction you are not thinking of, from the direction you are not even expecting, help will come unto you. If I were you, my amen would be louder. I said, help we come unto you. Some of us, you have focused your mind on certain area. God, help me this way. But my daddy asked me to tell you, from that direction, you are not thinking of. From that direction, you are not expecting. Today, help we come unto you. That is why I want to encourage you. Don't give up. Tell your neighbor, don't give up. From the direction you are not expecting, help is coming. That day, Bartimaeus got help from the direction he was not expecting. I'm sure you know the story of the widow of Sarephath. In 1 Kings chapter 17, 8 to 16, the woman was not expecting any help again. She had made up her mind that he would eat the last meal, she would die, and her son would also die. But unknown to her, God had sent Elijah to her. And Elijah prophesied that this one meal, you think it is the last meal, it will be the beginning of the meal. For three and a half years, the cruise of oil will not fail and the barrel of meal will not waste. I am here to tell you that today will be the beginning of help in your life. I can't hear your amen. It will be the beginning of help in your life. From the direction you are not expecting, God will send help unto you. 
many a times as human beings, we always look at a particular direction. But my daddy says, I should tell you, from that direction you have ignored, from the direction you have not thinking of, today I will send help unto you. Number three, when you have an encounter with the Almighty God, the kind of help you least expect will come unto you. I'm sure you know that help comes in various ways. The one you least expect will surely come unto you. When Bartimaeus woke up that day, if someone should tell him that before you sleep today, you are going to have brown new eyes, he will burst into laughter and said, you must be the greatest joker of the year. Because as a blind man, science tells us that if you are already 40 years old and your eyes are blind, it is likely that you will never see again with the eyes. But that day, he received a sign. The kind of help he least expected, he got it. I don't know the kind of help you are thinking of. Maybe all your prayer is that God, this year, give me a Tokumba car so that I can be pushing it when I'm coming for the program. My daddy says, I will give you a brown new car. The kind of help you least expect is coming your way. Maybe what you are thinking is that God help me, provide for me so that I can pay my rent. Daddy says, I will make you a landlord. I will make you a landlady. Maybe you are saying, God, provide a job for me. Do you know that God can make you an employer of job, of people? So lift up your two hands. I decree the kind of help you least expect that you cannot even think of. Today, it will come unto you. I said it will come unto you. Number four. When you have an encounter with God from every side, help will come. I told someone who shout Amen. I said from every side, help will come. I can't hear your Amen. Hallelujah. This man, when he had an encounter with Jesus, physically Jesus helped him. He healed him. Are you here with one sickness or the other? And doctors have told you that you are going to manage the sickness till you die. I prophesy physical help will come unto you today. I, I can't hear your amen. Help will come from every side. Are you a beggar like Bartimaeus? Maybe you beg before you eat. You beg before you pay your bills. You beg before you pay your children's school fees. When bad meals had contact with Jesus, things change. He had financial breakthrough. He ceased to be a beggar. I prophesy. After today, you will no longer beg again. You will have more than enough. Say, I will have more than enough. Say it with your mouth. If you read the story carefully, this man got spiritual help after Jesus, hallelujah. Even before that, I want to add that he had social help. When he was a blind man, nobody wanted to marry a blind man because nobody wants to be called Mrs. Blind. But when he got brown eyes, new eyes, I'm sure situations change. People began to look at him and they were saying, how now? There are some of you who are of marriageable age. Help is coming your way. But spiritually he got help because he was there wasting away. When he had an encounter with God, the Bible says he followed Jesus on the way. He began to fulfill his destiny. He was lifted up spiritually. I prophesy today, you will have physical help. I can't hear your amen. 
you will have financial help, you will have social help, and you will have spiritual help. Lift up your hands and say, today, help is coming my way. As I close, that is number five. Whom will God help? Whom will God help? God will usually help those who are dissatisfied with their situation. If you are enjoying where you are now, you are not likely to get help. It doesn't matter. Even if you are high now, don't you know that you can still be higher? <laughs> I can't hear you. If you are a counselor, you can be a local government chairman. If you are a local government chairman, you can be a governor. Even if you are a governor, you can be president. And there are president and there are president. So what I'm trying to say, if you are satisfied with your present situation, situation you may not get help. But if you are dissatisfied with your present situation, help will come. In. And help will come to those who cry unto the Lord. I love that man called Bartimaeus. When he saw Jesus Christ, he said, Thou son of David, come and help me. Have mercy on me. People said, Shut up. He looked at them and said, You must not, you are not serious. Do you think it is the little, little cover you are giving me that I will rely on? I want a great help. The Bible says that he shouted the more. And at the end of the day, God didn't disappoint him. Are you ready to cry unto the Lord? I can't hear you. Are you dissatisfied with your situation? Today, as you cry unto the Lord, as this special anointing oil touches your head, I can assure you, wherever you go, help will pursue you. So, are you ready to pray? Rise to your feet. If you are in the house, you are not born again. I beseech you, give your life to Christ. It is when you are on his side that he can help you. Are you ready to pray like Bartimaeus? I can't hear your response. Are you ready to cry unto him? Do you know that several people were there that day? It was only the voice of Bartimaeus that Jesus are. Whose voice we got here today? My voice. Whose voice we got here today? So you are going to lift up your two and say, My father, my father! Please don't look at anybody. If anybody feels that well, don't worry. By the time you begin to give your testimony, they will see. You will not die in that problem. So jump up and say, My father, my father! By your power! Let help arrive in my home today. Go ahead and pray. My Father, my God, the great helper, by your power, let help arrive in my home today. Let help arrive in my school today. Let help arrive in my ministry today. Ramba Santaya Kumba Galaka Shanda. Lambracula Cashanda, Mango Loco Secreke, Yembroco Loco Secreke. to him and say my father my father by your power let up alive in my home today in Jesus name we pray prayer number two should be louder altar, and more violent than number one say my father my father say it louder from the direction I am not looking at from the direction I am not thinking of. Allah, send help unto me today. Go ahead and pray, go ahead and pray. My Father, my God, from the direction I am not thinking of, because you are the Almighty God, arise, 
Send help unto me. Send help unto my children. Send help unto my wife. In the name of Jesus, you are the great helper. From the direction I am not thinking of. Arise. Arise. Send help unto me. Send help unto me. Lambracula Kashanda. In Jesus' name we pray. On Monday, that the Geo said something during the final encounter. He said, There is a kind of miracle that will frighten the receiver. You yourself that receive it will open your mouth and say, Ha, ah, God, he mean, ah, what have I done? So you are going to pray and say, My father, my father. The kind of help that will frighten me, that will amaze me, the kind of help that will turn me to amaze me, send it unto me now. Go ahead and pray. Shout the name Jesus and pray. Ramba Santaya Kumba Galaka Shanda. The kind of hell that will frighten me in the ministry. Father, send it unto me. The kind of hell that will frighten me. Even in region 13. Even in Trinity Assembly. Even in this Edo. Father, send it unto me. The kind of hell that will frighten me. Send it unto me. In the name of Jesus. Send it unto me. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. And you are going to pray. That may be the final prayer. Say, Father, I want all ground help. I want spiritual help, physical help, financial help, academic help, ministerial help. I want all round help. Bombard my life with all round help. Go ahead and pray. Go ahead and pray. Bombard my life with all round help. In the name of Jesus, bombard my life with all and help. Yampra kula kashanda, man soli reke reke sheku reke reke. Lampra kula kashanda, man golo kosheku reke reke reke. Lampra kula kashanda. In Jesus' name we pray. I'm sure you will remember that I told you yesterday that when God wants to help you, He can send your prophet to you. That the G also said it in the evening that God can send your prophet. He has sent me to you today because I'm going to make some pronouncement into your life and it will come to pass. But before that, you want God to open the door to help you and get a good job. I have an unction in my spirit that this month is your month. Such people should stand and lift up their two hands. I want to pray. This prayer is not for everybody, but you are looking, trusting God for a good job. Lift up your two hands. And as I pray, let your amen roar. In the name of Jesus. Lord, I present this, your children, unto you. Because you are the very present help in time of trouble. They are trusting you for a good job. In a way that is beyond human comprehension. This month, send help unto them. Provide good job for them in the name of Jesus. So shall it be. In Jesus' name we pray. Be seated. Number two, I want all the school children to stand and place their right hand on their medulla oblongata. That is their brain. All Student of all category, if you are a university student, any student, just place your right hand on your brain and I want to pray. I decree, in the mighty name of Jesus, your brain will rise again. As you are laying that hands on your brain, I decree, your brain will become a first class brain. In the name of Jesus, in your academic, you will exact. You will be ten times wiser than your mates. In Jesus' name, I pray. Let your amen roar. In the name of Jesus. 
because you are here today, I decree the God of Baba Deboye will arise and send help unto you. In the name that is above every other name, I decree help we arrive your home today. Help we arrive your life today. Help we arrive your shop today. In the name of Jesus, from the direction you are not even expecting, from the direction you are not thinking of, my Father will send help unto you. I say, my Father will send help unto you. In the name of Jesus, the kind of help you least expect, the kind of help that will frighten you, the receiver, receive it in the name of Jesus. 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 I say, receive physical help. Receive financial help. Receive spiritual help. All our help. In the name of Jesus. Because you are here today, you will give testimony. This month, it shall be well with you. No evil will befall you. As many as are celebrating their birthday this month, you will rejoice the more. The Lord will surely bless all of you. Thank you because you have answered, for we have prayed in Jesus' name.